right, boys and girls, welcome back to Rat Rod Bob's Little Shop Where Dreams Come True. I just uh, finished the sun visor for the Rat Rod truck cab. So stick around, see how I did that. If you don't want to miss it, that's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> So I need to build a sun visor for my old rat rod truck cab. I mean, it's a rat rod. It's got to have a sun visor, right? Uh, anyway, I will take. I want to take two pieces of metal. I want to make half on this side, half on this side to build it. And then when I get it like I want, I'm gonna slice it and I'm gonna weld it back together. The two pieces together in the middle will make one piece. But I'm gonna start with two pieces, end up with one piece. If that don't confuse you too much. But hey, I'm gonna use that old hood that's kind of pitted up a little bit, not as much as a truck cab, but it's pitted up a little bit. Cut two pieces out of that with the plasma cutter and build a Hey, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. So after some highly classified scientific rat rod calculations, I decided I needed a 26, two pieces, two. 26 by 10 and uh, it might not I mean this I'm gonna start with this these are gonna be trimmed up smoothed up and they're gonna wind up being smaller but I'm gonna start with two 26 by 10 pieces better to be too big than be too little So here we have our two pieces, rough cut, 26 by 10. Uh, this is the underside of the hood. See, that's the upper side. I want the underside up because it has the rust pitting. A lot of pitting that matches the cab of the truck. So yeah, this side here has got some rust, but it don't have as much pit. I like a lot of pitting. I mean, you see why when I rub silver over. Yeah. There's two pieces rough cut, 26 by 10. We're going to go start with that. So first thing I've done is drill the hole, put me a bolt to bolt this one piece down. And, uh, of course, if it was square with the cab, it'd be like this. But 
I want it on the same angle with what the windshield is going to be. So it's going to be back like this. And I need to do the same thing on the other side. And at some point, this piece of metal, being that the hood was rounded a little bit on top, this is upside down, so this is rounded a little bit this way, which is not what I want. So before I start making this curve and all, I'm going to get this and my angus wheel and make it rounded this way. So yeah, we got to clean this up more. English wheel, round it this way. But first, get the other, the other side, bolt there, maybe a bolt on this side to get these in position. And then we're going to go from there. So I just, what I've done, I got this one, the center bolt in, kind of where I want it. And I got lined this up with the way shield pretty much. And then I put me a bar chalk. And then I took a piece of soapstone and marked it right there. So I got a mark there. Then, uh, I mean, this is rat rod stuff here now. Keep in mind, this is rat rod building. So I took four foot level right in there, and then I got a measurement from the level over to that mark. Then I come over this side. And I put a mark here, same as that side. So what's gonna happen is I got you get that piece lined up. I, I haven't drilled a hole for this one yet, so this one's gonna come. I got the I've got mark for the hole, got where I need the hole that right there. And then when I get this, I line this end up with the mark. And this it these two edges up and get lined up with the hole. And then these this piece and that piece should be the same. So now I need to drill a hole and put a bolt right there to hold that. You see these two pieces overlap? When I get it get them in line up where I want them, I'm going to take the zip cut off wheel and cut, do a cut and butt right there. I'm going to cut through both of them and weld them together. So at this point, this is what I'm looking at. Don't look much like a sun visor right now though. Yeah, we gotta work with it. And as we all know, when you drill a hole through metal, usually you got some burrs on the back side. I just take the flat wheel, knock those off before I, after I drill the hole, I'll knock the burr off. Now that I got my other hole drilled, I can put this bolt in, put another on the bottom side to hold that, and I can get that line back up with my mark and drill a hole here. So now that I got both pieces bolted down exactly where they're gonna go, I got something to work with. I got them in place and all that good stuff. Uh, I'll move the camera and show you what I got here. So you see now I got a, a straight line that way and a straight line that way on that one. 
which would be fine. Hey, who cares if it's a rat rod? But I like, like to be a little bit more artistic. <laughs> I want these to curve a little bit to kind of match. I mean, just a little bit, not much. So I'm going to put a little curve in here on this one and on that one. So I got a piece of number nine wire that's almost perfectly straight. Like I said, who cares with a rat rod? And uh, I'm just going to hold each end and bend it so it'd be a uniform bend, if you know what I mean. So I got it. I got my uniform bend kind of something like I want it. So I'm gonna mark that. So I'm anyway. I'm gonna cut this one and get it smoothed up like I want it, and I can use this for pattern and flip it over and mark the other one and cut it the same. So what I'm shooting for a little uniform curve right there to look better than straight that way straight that way so I almost got it got a little hump there a little little tweaking and I'll have that that's what I want a little curve right there so at this point I got my curve in the back I got my two pieces bolted down where they're gonna be uh, I need to cut this so I can I got center mark here I got a center mark there line up and dead center of the cab that's the mark so we want to mark there you gotta take the cut off wheel and cut through both pieces right there without cutting into the cab and on this edge uh, I need to I need to bring it in some so Probably about, I don't know, right there. Who cares the rat rod? So we'll put a straight edge there. So I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut that. And then when I take these two pieces off, I'll put them together and I'll cut the other one the same.
So now I got that one cut and I got a mark. When I unbolt it, I can cut the other one. Now I need to put these in the English wheel to get that curve that I want. So I need to clean, I need to smooth all these edges up. I don't want no rough edges in the English wheel. And it's bad enough when you got an old metal like this in the English wheel, but uh, hey, I'm gonna do it anyway. So like I said, you see this is flat. Matter of fact, it's a little bit this way because this was the top of the hood. But I want it to go this way, so. I gotta put a little curve in it. So I'm just gonna put an English wheel and kind of pull down on this side a little bit, each side, right through there. Don't take much. And I'm not really good at angles wheel, but you see it already got it. Look, see that curve already? That's something like what I want right there. This side a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just learning this English wheel stuff, guys, so bear with me. We see I already got a curve going the way I want. That little bit rolling right there, I already got a curve. And uh, I don't know if it's enough yet. I'm going to put it on the truck seat. I'm going to do the other, other half the same way. So I got this 4 inch exhaust elbow clamped up in my vise because this is the outside edge that needs to curve down. So I'm just gonna put that on there. I mean, this is thin metal, it's easy to bend, so don't take much. You don't need much of a bend. You want this bend on the same angle as that cut right there. Yeah, something like that to start with, see how that looks. So you see now it's starting to resemble a uh, sun visor. I got it curved on the end a little bit. Uh, we get it fitting better. Get this welder together. These edges smoothed up. Uh, corner trim right there. We've got to cut some of the corner off around that corner a little bit on each side. Yeah. Yeah, around 
the corner on each side. Uh, weld this together. And then uh, trim this edge. It's going to be a little bit rounded. Come around right there. Round that corner, around this edge a little bit. And uh, we're going to be pretty close to having the sun visor then. But uh, we're still not done, still got a lot to do, so yeah, stick around. Don't run off. Don't go nowhere. So I got a little strip of <clears throat> scrap metal, same size, some I want to cut off the end, slipped it under there, so just in case when I'm tacking this, it won't get on and burn my paint. I'm, I'm not going to tack it all the way up, though, just some right here. Then I'm going to take it off and weld it. So I welded this up solid and ground it down, but I left a little hump, a little ridge there. Now I'm going to come back and put some stitches. Now I'm just going to come back and flatten the top of those stitches out a little bit. Stitches. Gotta have stitches as a rat rod. So I got two cutoff wheels. I got the one that's wore out and I got a new one. I'm gonna take the one that's wore out. I'm gonna do this uh, radius right here. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna use the big one to do the radius on this end. So I need to cut those two radiuses on both on them both ends. So yeah, that. Do this side the same way.
Yep, start looking more and more like a sun visor all the time, but we ain't done yet. But wait, there's more. <laughs> all right, I think we're ready to put the bolts back in, just see what we got. Yeah, it's starting to look kind of like a sun visor. Well, I'm happy with it, except for this part right here. <clears throat> I don't like this part. This has got gotta be done something so I got to do something with this I got this piece that, that was cut off right there I think I'm gonna flip it over something like that weld it right there because that that don't look right to me I mean, it's kind of like the difference of a guy wearing short pants and a guy wearing long pants. <laughs> Not a problem. I mean, I could put some stitches right there. It needs more stitches anyway. It's a rat rod, so more work, but hey, who cares? Yeah, needless to say, that old rusted up metal is not really that easy to weld, but hey, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot better. Plus, I can put a bolt down way at the bottom to keep this thing from flipping up and hold it. So, another bolt there, one there, some across the top. Put some round rod around this edge, quarter inch round rod around the leading edge. Yep, gotta do that. So I wanna put some quarter inch round rod around the edge, leading edge of this sun visor. And uh, since this has got a lot of bends in it, I'll just cut a sharp piece to get around the bends. And then uh, one of these on each end and then I come in with a long piece and fill in, fill in between them. So this, this is going to go in something like that. Weld in. Then I could come in with a piece and weld to it. And obviously there's plenty of ways to bend round rod. But uh, what way I've done this is I got two pieces of one inch square stock clamped down to the table. And I just put this round rod, if I need a sharp bend there, a long bend there, just take a hammer, pound on it. I mean, it bends easy. You gotta pound on it a few times, but it bends easy. Uh, then right here, get, get that bend. Yeah, it ain't nothing to it, it's easy. A little bit of pound and I already got that. With a little hammer. See, we're pretty close already. We gotta have this little kick up right there. Yeah, this here gotta bend down for that curve there. So I want a little more bend right there, just a little bit. So we got this piece of pipe, what, three, three and a half inch, something like that, clamped there, so I'm just gonna use that.
Yeah, we just gotta keep tweaking it till we get it like we want it. Uh, that's pretty close. Most of you already know this, but I got this tool I made with the lathe. And uh, just clamp it in that vise right there, that part of it. And uh, that hole. And it makes a counter salt hole there so I can I can take a screw. So the screw will sit flat in there. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, I can't also with these, so the metal will sit down in there. I don't know how it's gonna work, probably not gonna sit flat, but I use the same tool. Uh, I put this on the back side, run this through the hole. I take a big hammer, back this up. I take a little hammer and pound on it. That's the way I've done these. All right, there it is. Got the little counter salt screws in it. Yeah, that's works works out pretty good. It sit flat. I didn't think it would, but yeah, that worked out well. And I look from the front. Hey. It's all right, good enough for rat rod. Now I gotta take it off and paint it. Before I paint this, I wanna kill the rust on it. I mean, I wire wheeled it, but it's still got rust deep down in those pits. I wanna get rid of it. So I'm using this Sky Coat OSPHO. Yeah, I got it ready to paint. I don't know how much paint it's gonna take. I'm gonna mix up eight ounces and see if that's enough. Probably don't need that much. But I'm gonna touch up the cab and that tailgate while I'm at it. That's eight ounces. Xylene. 
Don't need much of that. Harder. Uh, half pint to a gallon. So I don't need much of that. Yeah, cap wouldn't come off like it's supposed to. Imagine that. Uh, a little more. Yeah, that's what the cap looked like. <laughs> not much, not much sealing there. Probably won't be able to use that no more unless I use it soon. Kind of thick. That might be fine. I can add that if I need to. like that'll work. Any more. A little more pressure. A little more pressure. Not that much. There we go. Now we got it. Now we're cooking. Yeah, got it painted, three coats, maybe, well, probably four on the upper side anyway. And you can see it's got a lot of rust pits in it. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Backside, got two, three coats on the backside. Yeah. So I went ahead and put a sprayed over the tailgate uh, where I, you know, I was testing antiquing on it, rubbing silver, spraying black to get a fresh start on that. The cab, same. Uh, plus I've got some, put some scratches in it, building that sun visor. So I just kind of sprayed over that. So I let that dry a little bit. I could bolt it on. We see what it looks like painted.
for my regular viewers, I just want to show you. Got, I got the uh, shocks, sway bar, airbags on the rear suspension there. Hadn't done much to the front, still the same pretty much. Yeah, that's what it looks like on the truck. Yeah, it looks a little bit shinier than the rest of the cab because I just painted it like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I still got a cure, but no problem. If it's still shiny when it cures, I'll take a scotch bright, scuff it up a little bit and make it dull like the rest of the cab. No problem. I mean, hey, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I got stuff going on building this rat rod truck. I mean, hey, you don't want to miss it. I mean, you just don't. I'm taking the rest of the weekend off of pay. All right, we're getting it. We just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you. See you next time.